Jasmine Sawyers, come on. Let's get Jasmine down this one way. She needs a good shot here. It's gonna be strong. It's gonna be legal and it's gonna be long. So come on, folks. Get the clapping going. Jasmine Sawyers. Looks good. And it looks pretty long. Are we gonna get a white flag? We get a white flag and we're on the board. Jasmine Sawyers got her mark here. Desperately looking for that Commonwealth Games qualifying mark. And 6-4-6 six, six is Jasmine Sawyers. Opening round, let me tell you right now that she is equal in terms of length to Seneca Balta, who also jumped 6-4-6. Six, six. Unfortunately, Jasmine got that full jump in round one. That's such a shame because she's clearly in the form of her life right now. So let me tell you, the, uh, the qualifying mark is 6-6-0 six, six, oh for the Commonwealths. And Lorraine and Shara, Lorraine Ugin and Shara Proctor, they have, they've got it. Jasmine just seven centimeters short. So we'll be watching very closely. Okay, next up on the runway, it is Seneca Malta of Estonia here. A big athlete needing your support. Huge name in Estonia, multi-talented and a seasoned performer. So let's get it down this runway, folks. Senegal, that's such a shame. Well, she got a silver medal at the uh, 2008 World Athletics Final in Stuttgart in Germany. She came sixth in Rio last year. She jumped a big, big 6.79 and seventh at the 2016 World Indoors. Good start, by the way, for her year. She came fifth at the European Indoors, but uh, a disappointing result. Certainly by her standards at this year's World Championship. She was well down the ranking in 25th, so Zena Gibalta looking to try and get a bit of form going here in this year's Great City Games. So here we go. Next to the runway, representing Great Britain, this is Shara Proctor. Come on, let's make some noise for one of Britain's leading long jumpers here, Shara Proctor. Phenomenal form and technique through the air there, but that's a that's a such a shame. So close to being a good jump. So sadly, Shara will not make her mark here in this round here in round two. So a bit like Jasmine, one fell jump. Champion Lorraine Ugin, she is the national indoor and outdoor champion. Lorraine Ugin, looking for your support here. So close. So sadly, Lorraine's not on the board here on round two. I think these girls are absolutely motivated to do so well in front of you. So up close and personal to Senator Melton did really well today with her opening jump. Excellent. So back in the runway, round three. Let's get the clapping going here. It is Davio Zindalati, the triple jump specialist from Lithuania, looking for your support. And it's a good jump from Deville. It looks pretty good as well. Very consistent jumping from Deville, of course. Uh, getting married to British 60 meter sprinter, Richard Kilty in a few weeks. And five eight five five meters eighty five is Deville's third round jump. So next on the runway will be Kaiser Carlin, our Swedish youth championship silver medalist, looking for your support as the sun comes out here. And this competition really does heat up. Twelve fifty four, her hundred meters PB, very quick indeed. And she is hoping to try and take control of this competition. Looking for your support. 
here she is competing on a big stage here. She's already found a lot of success at world youth level, where she had a 6.24 leap and eventually won silver at the 2015 World Youth Championships. So this is Kaiser Carlin. Round three. And it's just over, just over the board. the runway getting ready to go really keen to get this competition moving Jasmine Sawyers of Great Britain who as we mentioned at one point looked like she might even be perhaps a Nordic specialist she was involved in the bobsleigh represented Britain at the inaugural Youth Winter Olympics when she was approached by the British Bobsleigh Association, so impressed with her power and her speed and her agility, but, well, they've lost it to long jumping, and it's certainly to our benefit here, and to Great Britain's benefit. So come on, let's get the clapping going here for Jasmine Sawyers, as she once propelled down this runway, and hopefully a Commonwealth Games securing mark. It looks like a good jump. We're gonna get a white flag, it is a white flag, and it looks good. Is it good enough? Shake of the head, she's not too sure at this point in time. So Jasmine Sawyers of Great Britain. Now of course, coached by Kelly Southerton, the 2004 Olympic heptathlon bronze medalist, and Jasmine has scored in this third round, six meters and 31, 631 in round three. So a pretty decent effort from Jasmine Sawyers. But she'll be looking to try and improve that. So next on the runway now, and it is the lady representing Estonia, Sena Jabalta. Estonia's top athlete here in Newcastle. Looking for a big jump, so come on, let's get the clapping going here for Sena Jabalta from Estonia here at the Great North City Games. of Estonia, jump 646, a big jump, leading jump, and it's a good jump here in round three from Estonia. And I just wonder if that's gonna maybe take control of this competition, a very, very experienced competitor, fantastic athlete, ranked fourth in the world long jump rankings last year, and she's jumped 636 in round three, six meters 36 in round three. She's got one foul jump on the board right now. It's 6.36 in round three, so it's good jumping. As we mentioned there, a little disappointed by our world championship performance where she came 25th. Represented a country on numerous occasions. As we mentioned, she is multi-talented. She was, of course, a pentathlete as well. So, next up on the board here, from Great Britain, Shara Proctor. Make some noise. Let's get Shara down this board. Fouled in the last round. She needs a good jump, folks. It looks good. Maybe a little early off the board there from Shara. I think she knows it too. It's a good jump, but I think it might not be the one that's going to secure a lead here. Lovely to see Shara here. Her ancestral home in Gwila, affected very badly by Harry Canerva. So our thoughts are close are with Shara. Yeah, yeah. And all our friends, but our jump here is 6.12, 6.12, so sadly not going to make much of an impression on this third round here. 2015, a big year for Shara, set national records of 6.95 and 6.98 at the IWF Diamond League in Doha and London. So, next up on the runway, Great Britain's Lorraine Ugin, who is of course the current national champion outdoors and indoors. And she really wants to make a big impression on this competition. Came so close to winning this year's Diamond League title. Inches away from winning Serbia's Ivana Spanovic. So Lorraine Ugin now for Great Britain. Yeah, it's a good jump. 
It's a good jump and it looked like a strong jump, a very fast run up as well from Lorraine Hogan. They're jumping 6.46 for the way, 6.46 for a jump here in the penultimate round. Sorry mate. They won bronze at the World Indoor Championships in Oregon, by the way, jumping 6.93, a fantastic athlete. So here we are, rattling our way through this competition. We're on to round four, folks, and on the runway, it is Lithuania's Deville Zindalati looking here to take control here. The triple jump girl looking for your support here. She loves this part of the world, of course. It's going to be Mrs. Kilty very shortly. It looks like a good jump, I think. It is a good jump. Keen to try and specialize more in the long jump here after a triple jump career, which saw her take every single title in Lithuania, her home country. She's absolutely delighted to be here in Newcastle, taking part in the Great North City Games and her jump of 5.92 in the final round. I don't think it's gonna secure the title here today. But it's a very, very solid performance from Lithuania's Deville Sindelati. Lovely to see you here. And Deville, have a fantastic wedding with Richard. Hopefully you're going to have a great time. So, coming up next, it is Kaiser Carlin. One of Sweden's fastest sprinters here. And now specialising in the long jump. And she needs to feel the support of Newcastle here to get her down this runway. She has the height here. She's got the power. She's got the sprinting ability, and she might just pull out the hat. A huge jump here, which could be enough to win this title. Kaiser Carlin of Sweden on the runway. Oh, she knows that just wasn't right. It's a legal jump, but I think her timing just was all wrong, so unfortunately, that's going to be Kaiser's finishing jump. Kaiser Carlin of Sweden, a fantastic world youth junior champion, made a huge impression at youth level internationally, now stepping up to the senior level, and I'm sure, Kaiser, you will be making a big impression at the world and Olympic level in the future. 5-5-1, Kaiser's final jump, 5 meters 51, so that's not going to do it here at this year's Great North City Games. Winning silver behind Tara Davis at the 2015 World Youth Championship. So, here we are for Britain, Jasmine Sawyers, super talented, bobsleigh specialist, sprinter, phenomenal all-round athlete, looking here to qualify for the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Can she do it here in Newcastle? It looks good and it could be legal. Are we gonna go, we go we're getting a white flag. What's it gonna be in the final round? So Jasmine Sawyers bows out of the 2017 Great North City Games long jump. Fantastic experience, Jasmine. It's been an absolute pleasure to see you here. And we wish you all the very best in qualifying for the 2018 Commonwealth for England. And our final jump, 6.30, it's pretty good. It is strong, a good closing jump, and I'm sure that'll fill her full of confidence as she heads into the 2018 season. This is her final, final event in the 2017 season. So ladies and gentlemen, Great Britain's Jasmine Sawyers signing out with a six meters 30 jump. All right, so here we are, back on the runway, representing Estonia. This is Seneja Balta. So looking for your support here, Seneja Balta, looking for a bit of support and a bit of noise here. She's had a very, very solid competition here in Newcastle. She's only fouled once. And I just wonder if this lady could land the title here at this year's Great North City Games. Such an experienced athlete from Estonia. Sene Jabalta on the runway. And that was a pretty good looking jump, but it's a foul. What a shame, Sene Oh, so close. It looked big as well. It looked like a big, powerful jump. But sadly, it's not going to record anything in her final round. Ladies and gentlemen, from Estonia, Sene Balta. Such a strong competition here. 
She was ever so close, just double checking there in the plasticine, making absolutely sure. Sixth in Rio at the Olympics, looking, I'm sure, for a very strong 2018. Ranked fourth last year. So, here we are at the business end of this year's Great North City Games Long Jump, and on the runway, it is the fantastic Shara Proctor, who is leading a big jump here. 6.12, her last jump. What's she gonna do here? Six meters 12, I'm sure she can better that. She's more than capable here of jumping a lot more than that. She's got the qualifying mark for the Commonwealth and the Gold Coast. I just wonder if she can leave her mark here in Newcastle in the final event of the season. It's a good looking jump, I think it's legal as well. We'll get a tad early off the board. It's a good jump, it is legal. So, ladies and gentlemen, Great Britain, Shara Proctor. What an athlete. She has jumped 7.54 at the indoor team trials way back in February. Had a bit of a mixed year. Delighted to see her back to full health. And her final jump, 6.15, Shara, your final effort, 6 meters 15. She knew it wasn't necessarily going to be a big, big jump, but a very solid jump. So, our final competitor at the 2017 Great North City Games from Great Britain, Lorraine Ugin. She is our national indoor and outdoor champion. She is also an NCAA champion with her college performance in Texas. Very, very talented athlete. Did so well at the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, came fifth in the long jump there. European indoors, of course, in Belgrade this year, 6.97, so she can really fly, and this is where she needs your support. Oh, it's a red flag, no, it's not what Lorraine wants at all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine Ugin of Great Britain. Well, we wish Lorraine and Shara the very best. They will be representing Team England at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. We wish Jasmine Sawyers the very best in securing that mark because if all three are on the Gold Coast next summer, then I think we could be seeing a gold medal come England's way at the Court Commonwealth. So ladies and gentlemen, our final jump here at the 2017 Great North City Games long jump. We will get confirmation in just a moment who our champion is. So our officials are just calibrating our results and double checking who exactly has got what here, but a very, very competitive jump here at this year's Great North City Games. A couple of fell jumps from the British girls who were very keen to make their mark here. Of course, last year it has been the guys. We had the girls jumping in Manchester. Jasmine Sawyer's absolutely loving it, as does Shara Proctor and Lorraine Ugin. And I'm sure they're very happy to sign a few autographs and take a few selfies because they are going to be big, big names in British athletics in the very near future. So congratulations to all our athletes who have done so, so well here in Newcastle at this year's Great North City Games. First order then in sixth place here at this year's 2017 Great North City Games long jump in sixth place from Lithuania De Beals in Delati. And in fifth place, Kaiser Karlin of Sweden with six meters and three. And then in third place, we had a number of jumpers here recording 6.46. In third place, Jasmine Sawyers. I should say in fourth place, 6.15, Shara Proctor, 6.15, fourth place, Shara Proctor. In third place was Jasmine Sawyers of Great Women jumping 6.46. In second place, Senna Gibalta from Estonia, also jumping 6.46. And our lead jumper here, due to consistency, our lead jumper here from Great Britain, winning the title here at this year's Great North City Games. Lorraine Ogan, also 6.46. So Lorraine Ogan is our top jumper here. Many congratulations for winning tonight. It was, it was a tight competition. Uh, it is different jumping at street level, isn't it? You must be aware of the crowd, and, and it might just affect your balance and, and technique, but you still thrive on it, I think. Yeah, so it's a little bit different, but I like it. You get to um, meet more fans and be closer to people, so I think it's a nice little cosy um, competition. So give us a flavour of what's happening next year. Of course, you're going to build up now to the Commonwealth. That's surely the priority now for you. 
um, you know, the world indoors is first in Birmingham. So if anybody else is looking for some more world class competition, make sure you come out to Birmingham for the World Indoor Championships and then come on games after that. Of course the world indoors and of course you're, you're pretty good indoors, you enjoy the indoor atmosphere too. Yeah, it's, it's similar to this, um, it's a lot closer and you get to feel like the audience is kind of carrying you through the competition. So well, Lorraine, it's been an absolute pleasure to see you here performing ever so well, our national indoor and outdoor champion. I'm sure you'll be looking forward to next year and uh, all the very best, by the way, for the World Indoor title and the Commonwealth as well. Uh, Lorraine Ugin, ladies and gentlemen, our champion here at the Great North City Games.